Hey, 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 how is everyone? Hi, Instagram. Hello, Facebook. How are you guys today? Hope everyone had, everyone in the States had a wonderful Thanksgiving, and now we're gearing up for more holidays. I think Hanukkah is like now. So happy Hanukkah to all of you, and happy everything. Happy, how about that? Happy, happy day to all of us, um, regardless of what we celebrate. Um, just so happy to be with you guys. Let me fix my necklace. Um, just so happy to be with you guys, and thank you so much for allowing me into your life and to be a part of your life. Um, I want to, you know, just say thank you, how much I appreciate you all, and talk to you a little bit today about beauty. Most of you guys know I have a skincare line. My God, my necklace is all caught up, and I'm trying to do it looking at myself in the camera, and I can't do that because it's getting on. Okay, there we go. Most of you guys know I have a skincare line, right? Amy Route Beauty. Here we go. This is my cleanser. And um, I have my assistant in there helping me right now because we just had a huge Cyber Monday sale and um, our biggest one ever, which is really amazing. And um, we are knee deep in Amy Ralph Beauty right now and shipping and packaging. And, you know, it's amazing how much the company has grown. So I started Amy Ralph Beauty kind of sort of dabbling probably in like 2013, 2014, right around the time Yes, You Can Get Pregnant came out. Um, we launched an official line, right? Amy Rock Beauty officially had a line. It officially had labels. It was, you know, we had three different facial oils, a toner, a cleanser. We had aromatherapy sticks, a body butter. I think that's it in the blemish stick. Maybe that's all we had. Now we have, uh, I don't even know how many products, but probably 25 or so, maybe more. And one of, um, you know, and it's amazing because it's it's all natural skincare. It's beauty that is pure enough to eat. The ingredients are supremely clean because when I was researching, uh, when I was doing my research and my writing for my first book, Chill Out and Get Healthy, I have a chapter in here called Beauty You Can't Buy at Sephora. And I love that, that title. And um, it's all about inner accentuating our inner beauty so from a confidence standpoint but then also accentuating our outer beauty from you know a standpoint of decreasing toxins in our environment so all the way back in 2009 2010 i was talking about how bad our environment was for us the toxins in our environment what why it's important to switch to green beauty um and i think that was really ahead of its time there wasn't a ton of people at the time talking at all about green beauty and you know, so then I said to myself, after Chill Out and Get Healthy came out, I said, I'm going to make the commitment, like I tell people in my book, and I'm going to switch everything over. And I have really sensitive skin. I've had eczema most of my life, and I had it at one point on my face. So I'm really, really vain and really, really protective of my skin. So my diet has really helped with that. But of course, switching over products. Like, I mean, I grew up using Cetaphil. Um, you know, and CeraVe for my skin because I was an eczema sufferer. Little to know that they were loaded with toxins and that was probably worsening my skin. Then I developed acne when I was in grad school and I used Proactive at one point. Um, and that's when I decided to change my diet and that made the biggest difference. And then it was, of course, managing stress, building up my confidence. I didn't have a ton of confidence. Um, something happened between high school and college where I don't know. I got a little hiccup in my confidence. I developed an eating disorder, you know, so there was a lot of stuff I had to work on for me, for Amy, and um, believing in myself more and having more confidence. And so, so anyway, when 2011 came along, or 2010, 2011 is when I decided to go all natural with my skincare, and I couldn't really find the products that I wanted. A lot of the products that claim to be natural or organic still had some crap in them, still had some fillers. And, you know, in order to maintain shelf life of products, you've got to put some toxic chemicals in them. So a lot of the mainstream natural organic products aren't really as clean as we think they are. This is long before we had EWG and their Skin Deep or Healthy Living app or the Think Dirty app where we could test our products and see what they rank. Um, I think that all started happening in like 2012, 2013. And so I started making my own products for my own self, for my own skin. And what happened was people started complimenting me all the time. 
your skin, your skin, your skin, you know, and my boyfriend at the time um, was using the products and loved them. And we were out to dinner one night and someone was, it was like a client of mine we ran into and she was just like, your skin, Amy. And he had said to me then later that night at dinner, he said, have you ever thought about packaging and selling this stuff? And I was like, oh, I don't really know if I need to start another business. Little did I know I was going to start a few more businesses. Um, and anyway, you know, he always had that entrepreneur brain and just kind of was like, let's do this. People, people, you are the role model. People want skin like yours. You should sell the products that you use. So I started just selling them in the clinic and then slowly learned like there's different skin types. Who needs what skin type? And so anyway, as Amy Rob Beauty has evolved, now we have a full on business and it's doing really well and it's reaching so many people. And I love it because I, I handcraft everything. I still make every single product. I don't package it or bottle it anymore, but that is still done on site. We have a whole separate area for Amy Rob Beauty in our house, and we do it all here. So it doesn't go to a facility. Nobody's manhandling it. Um, I literally start to finish, have my hands on every single product, and that means a lot to me, a real lot to me. So it's not only healthy, organic skincare that you could eat, it's infused with my love and my joy and my hope for you. Um, to be confident and to own your beauty inside and out, right? So anyway, fairly recently, um, we, you know, I'm an acupuncturist by trade, right? So I use cupping all the time on the body, use it a lot for physical pain. If someone has a chest cold, asthma, I used cupping all the time on myself for my asthma when I was in graduate school. I since don't have any asthma really anymore because um, I limit my exposure to things like dogs and cats, which ag aggravate my asthma. And my diet is super clean that my inflammation has gone down considerably. So I just don't get the asthmatic episodes. I don't even have an inhaler anymore. I mean, I was a born asthmatic. I was hospitalized for asthma. I mean, it was a serious condition as a child for me. And since I've evolved and I think just taken really good care of myself and probably limited my exposure to all the toxins that I was putting on my skin, those things have gone away from me. So I don't really need cupping anymore. But I do use it now on my face. So that's what I want to talk to you guys about today is facial cupping. I'm going to demonstrate it. But first, um, so these are the cups. They're, these are brand new ones. They're still in their packaging. Um, so I'll show you the whole thing. But what is facial cupping? So cupping in general from a Chinese medicine perspective is really amazing at improving circulation and blood flow. Get what some research has shown. Instagram. Okay, we're back on Facebook. Yay. Are we back, Facebook? Someone comment and tell me that we're back. Um, okay. Anyway, facial cupping. Back to it. What some research has shown is that as we do the cupping, we're not only improving circulation and blood flow, but by means of improving circulation and blood flow, we are helping with Collagen production. Everybody wants more collagen in their skin as they age, right? Everybody wants that. We want that plump rosy look. We don't want things sagging. Um, the fine lines and wrinkles are all because collagen is starting to break down and degrade. So I think, A, we work with that on the inside. We're eating lots of good healthy fats, right? But B, we start using a practice that helps improve circulation and blood flow. So let's demonstrate. So you guys can see it's very simple. I'm going to put my hair up. First step, hair up out of the way because it gets in the way. Um, okay, hair's up. Second step, apply Amy Route Beauty Cleanser, or really any, any of my facial oils will do. I tend to use the cleanser. It's just pretty light, smooths on nicely. I like the smell. Um, I'm going to take my cups out of their packages as well. So facial cups, usually body cups, we use fire to get them to stick to create a suction. We do not and would not use that on the face. The other thing we do with body cups that's different is body cups we leave in place. And that's why you often then will see the red marks or the purple marks on people that get cupping. Facial cups, we slide. So the oil is going to help them slide. We do not leave them in place. Otherwise, we will get purple or red marks on our face, which we're probably not going for. So let me apply some of my cleansers. So just a couple pumps. Okay. 
So I don't know. I just did like four pumps. Um, my face is clean. There's no makeup on or anything. But you could do the cupping over makeup. Sometimes I will. The end of a busy work day, if I'm heading out for like dinner or to meet a friend, I will over my makeup put a little oil like right here and slide the cups just to give me like that rosy glow. So I love that. Um, okay, so another thing that cupping is really good at is lymphatic drainage. So any puffiness in the face, any sinus issues, any jaw tension, guess what? Facial cupping, incredible for that. So this is typically how I recommend doing it. Um, I did see my lovely assistant, Beth. She did a, uh, an Insta story for you guys the other day on cupping and talked about she learned from someone that you start at the bottom to open up the, the lymphs and then you move up so that basically as you release the puffiness or any fluid retention, it has a place to go. So I'm gonna start with, with that. So I'm using, I have a large cup and a small cup, right? I'm gonna use a large cup first, it works better. The small cups we really just use around the eyes and up top here, I'll show you. Large cup, so in order to get good suction, you gotta squeeze the cup all the way together. You see that, so the sides are touching. You squeeze together, you put on the skin, you let go, look at that, good suction. And then I'm gonna come down my neck. Oh, it just feels so good. So I tend to hold some tension right here like everyone else, like I can clench. I wore Invisalign for so long, so I feel like I have some tension in here. This feels incredible. But really what I'm doing right now is not just releasing that tension, I'm also activating the lymphs so that it'll drain. And you just saw, I didn't get great suction on that one, so it, it came right off. That's okay, you just reapply. So you squeeze, put it on, let go, pull. Some people aren't squeezing hard enough, and so they put it on and they don't get a nice enough suction and it keeps coming off. So I'm gonna do, I think I did three on each side. Now my limbs are nice and open. And now I'm gonna go up, I like to start with my eyes. Um, so same thing, that small cup, you're taking it, you're squeezing the sides all the way together so that they're touching, and then on the skin, and then release, okay? And you guys can just see what my skin does. So three here, then I'm going up top, three. Then what I also like to do is go up, just kind of relieves more tension in here. But you can also start to see, right? See the, see I can't, that one's not sticking so well. So I gotta, I gotta focus. Squeeze together, then slide. Squeeze together, release, then slide. And we'll go back to the bottom, around the top. Now look at that, it looks pretty. But in comparison too, you can see a nice healthy blood flow, right? So now we'll do the other side. Oh, <laughs> okay. And again, I've just activated and opened up the lymphs, so things are starting to drain out. So there's three. And you go above the eyebrow because hair is not going to let you get the good suction. Okay? And then we go up, up on the forehead. This is good for forehead tension, lines in the forehead. Um, again, if you get headaches, temple headaches, this is great for sinuses. And let's go here. Okay, so now you can see, looks pretty, right? Um, and then we do the face. So same thing, we squeeze all the way together, release, pull. Oh, feels so good. So I do like three strokes on every part of the face. And then down here, I'm gonna start to bring it back down again. Make sure I'm telling the body, okay, now I want you to drain out any of that excess fluid, any puffiness, any toxins. Oh, so good. Now we'll do the other side. So again, awesome for headaches, awesome for congestion, allergies, TMJ, really good for amplifying beauty. Really, really, really good for amplifying your beauty. It's an age-old technique. 
helps with circulation and blood flow, which helps with collagen production, removing of impurities and toxins from the skin. This also really helps with product absorption. So if you have a product that you love and you, you, know, you use one of those like real thick rejuvenating serums at night before bed, cup first, then apply the serum, you will get so much more bang for your buck. I also like to go up here um, with the big one sometimes because it just, I can hold a lot of tension up here, so it just feels good. Um, it's harder to get suction sometimes on, depending on the size of your forehead. Um, uh, oh, Mandy, the Sugar Scrub, that's one of my favorite products. That is a fairly, well, it's not super new, but I love my coconut sugar scrub. My son actually eats it. But it's pure enough to eat, so I let them. Um, okay, so there we go. Facial cupping. So that whole process, I think, was like, what, five, six minutes? Here we go. There's my skin. So now I have my cleanser on. I could wash my face if I wanted to. But I love my cleanser. I'll just let it soak in and stay. And now my skin is kind of vibrating, right? And, and really, really, look at it. And then you go my neck. Okay. You could also do the front of, oh, let me do that. You could also do the front of your neck. See, I have those lines on my neck. Um, that's from too much looking down at my phone at freaking Instagram. <laughs> but I'm working on it. Oh, I feel so good. You could even do your chest. Um, when James was sick, I put these on his back. They're great for kids um, up on his upper chest to help relieve his cough. So they're just a nice thing to have at home. And here's an awesome deal for you guys. So now until December 19th on Amy Rao Beauty, if you spend $100, you get a free deluxe cupping set. So the deluxe cupping set comes with one each size cups and a full size cleanser. So this is this cleanser sells for $38. This set sells for $15. So you get, what's that, like a $55 value, $48, $57 value at if you spend $100 on Amy Rob Beauty. So all you have to do is go over to Amy Rob Beauty. There's no promo code needed. Just spend more than $100, not including shipping. And you get a deluxe cupping set for free. And now you know how to do it, and now you can see the results and how much it beautifies the skin. Like, I don't even need any makeup on right now, right? I maybe could use a shower. <laughs> it's been a busy morning, guys. Um, so there you go, there you have it. Does anybody have any questions about facial cupping? Um, let's see, you guys are just kind of all watching, so that's fine. Well, if you have any questions, Cruise through, comment. I'm here for those. My team is here for those. But again, between now and December 19th, spend $100 on Amy Ralph Beauty. Head over to amyralphbeauty.com and you get a free deluxe cupping set, which is a $55 value. Incredible. Okay, guys. Sending you love. Have a fabulous day. Thank you so much for tuning in. I'll see you next week, okay? Bye. Bye, bye, bye.